Hello, my name's Laura Murphy from MTC Squared and I want to talk to you a little bit about Nancy Klein's thinking environment and time to think. Now, in every organisation, the greatest resource are the people. And the greatest resource of the people is their ability to think. But how often do we actually allow people to think, to think through an issue, a problem, to challenge the assumptions they have about something and to come up with a robust decision as a result. If you think back about conversations you've had, how often do you get interrupted? I suggest that it's quite a lot. In fact, we're always doing that when we're listening to people. We're listening to interpret for ourselves, to offer suggestions, to be able to come up with ideas, to finish people's sentences. We do that automatically. So why do we do it? Why do we interrupt people? Why do we not give them time to think? Well, it goes back to um, when we're very small, actually. There's been some research that shows that teachers, when they ask a pupil a question, when they make a statement, when they're expecting the pupil to respond, actually, on average, only wait 0.7 of a second before they say something else. So we're actually trained not to think. We're trained to be interrupted. So the beauty of the thinking environment is that we set up an environment, as it says in the name, a op an opportunity for people to really think, to think without being interrupted. And in the process, you allow the natural cycle of the brain to follow through a solution um, scenario. So the brain asks itself a question, it challenges the assumptions that have been made around issues, around situations, around people, and then it comes up, it tests whether those assumptions are true or not, and then it comes up with an alternative and a solution. And we know that when people are not interrupted, when they know they're not going to be interrupted importantly, that that allows the brain to follow that process. We also know that if you allow that to happen with somebody that's paying full attention to you and is really curious about where you're going with your thinking, that it fires up synapses in the brain that wouldn't be fired up normally. And so that enables the thinking to be even more creative, even more generative, even more robust. And we also know that when this system, when time to think is introduced within an organisation, it improves business processes enormously. You can cut your meeting times down to about 60%. In fact, you can reduce the, the number of meetings you have. We know that. We also know that people get more engaged, that those people that never have the opportunity to speak actually do speak up. We know that they are more focused. We know that the decisions that come out of them are more robust. We also know that it works really well with teams, particularly if there's a, a project that needs managing or if there's a particular sticky issue that needs deconstructing because it enables you to get to the core of the issue and it enables you to do that faster than any other method. And if you're working with an individual as a supervisor, as a manager, as a director, or as a coach, as a mentor. We also know that using time to think allows the individual to go further, to go deeper with their analysis of what they need to do to improve situations and to be more productive, happier in their work environment, and actually to relieve the anxiety, to boost confidence, which is so important with any organisation now, particularly when things are becoming automated and AI focused. We're finding that the person within the organisation, that personal attention is diminishing. So the thinking environment and time to think brings humanity back into an organisation, brings humanity back into a system and enables the individual, the team, the organisation 
to think more constructively, to think more robustly, to come up with more effective decisions in a shorter space of time. So if you want to find out more about Nancy Klein's thinking environment and time to think, and how you can introduce it into your organisation or even just for yourself, then get in touch. So that's Laura Murphy at MTC Squared Limited, mtc2.co.uk. Thank you.